SpaceX recently achieved a major milestone with the fifth test flight of its Starship, successfully recovering Super Heavy Booster 12. This impressive feat not only showcases the potential of their reusable rocket system, but also marks a pivotal moment in the race toward more cost-effective and frequent space launches. And if that wasn't enough to keep us on the edge of our seats, SpaceX is already ramping up for Flight 6, which is set to push the boundaries even further. This next launch will be testing cutting-edge technologies and procedures that are vital for ambitious deep space missions, including the dream of colonizing Mars. The excitement is electric, and as we delve into the highlights of this latest flight, we'll uncover the implications of these successes and what they mean for the future of humanity in space. Now, before we look ahead, let's rewind a little and catch up on some key developments leading up to Flight 5. Just days before the big event, Booster 14 was rolled back from the Massey Outpost to Mega Bay 1. This booster had undergone cryo-proof testing at Massey and now looks ready for engine installation, which suggests it might be destined for Starship's seventh flight. Why is this significant? It's likely that this flight will feature Starship's next major upgrade, what some are calling Starship Version 2, or Block 2. This next-gen Starship could be a game-changer in terms of performance and reusability. Meanwhile, over at Massey, Test Tank 16 was moved to the Rocket Garden. This tank was used to test the aft section of Starship version 2, undergoing structural testing to ensure it can handle the intense stresses of launch and re-entry. Now that its role is done, it may be retired, but its success in testing is another positive signal for the future of Starship's development. The big news, of course, was the recovery of Booster 12. Leading up to the attempt, no one was entirely sure how SpaceX planned to pull off the catch. Would they use the guiding pins on the launch mount? How would they stabilize the booster? Well, in true SpaceX fashion, they made it happen with a surprisingly straightforward approach. They guided the booster back onto the launch mount without even using the stabilizers or guiding pins that had been speculated about. It was all done with remarkable precision and confidence. Once Booster 12 was safely on the ground, SpaceX teams removed the Flight Termination System, FTS, charges, which gave us a first close-up look at the recovered booster. It wasn't pristine. One of the aerodynamic covers had come loose during re-entry, and there was some visible wear, especially in the areas exposed to the hot staging exhaust. Still, the booster was in remarkably good shape overall, and that's a huge win for SpaceX's reusability goals. The Raptor engines themselves were also inspected after the flight. While a few of the engine nozzles showed signs of heat damage, including some warping, the fact that the engines survived the extreme heat of re-entry is impressive. One of the engines, affectionately nicknamed the Pi Raptor because its serial number is 314, drew special attention. After this inspection, Booster 12 was rolled back to Mega Bay 1 for further analysis and now sits alongside Boosters 13, 14, and 15, ready for what's next. SpaceX's ambitions for Starbase aren't just limited to launching rockets, they're also working hard to expand their capabilities. Over at Pad B, new subcoolers were recently rolled into position, marking significant progress toward dual launch capability. With two active launch pads, SpaceX could dramatically increase their launch cadence, which would be crucial for their long-term goals, especially as they gear up for missions to the Moon and Mars. On the production side, work is also progressing rapidly. Booster 16 is now in the early stages of stacking, which suggests it could be part of Starship's ninth flight if the timeline holds. Meanwhile, Ship 34, another next-generation Starship, is being assembled and outfitted with a payload bay. This ship could represent another leap forward in terms of cargo capacity and mission versatility. And let's not forget the bigger picture here. The rapid development and testing of Starship aren't happening in a vacuum. SpaceX's progress is driving the entire industry forward. 
Competitors like Blue Origin, China's space agency, and even traditional aerospace giants like Boeing and Lockheed Martin are all watching closely, knowing that SpaceX's successes are raising the bar for everyone. The race to develop fully reusable rockets is heating up, and the competition will only spur even more innovation. And speaking of regulations, SpaceX's relationship with the FAA remains a critical factor in how quickly they can push forward. The approval for Flight 5 was hard-earned, and future flights will continue to be subject to rigorous oversight. Now let's take a moment to appreciate what SpaceX just pulled off here. No other company or government space agency has ever tried to catch a 70-meter rocket in midair. This was a first for humanity. And it worked. This could be the breakthrough that allows SpaceX to launch rockets as often as airplanes take off from airports. However, as SpaceX proves the reliability of Starship with each test, it's likely that regulators will gain more confidence, potentially paving the way for faster approvals and a more streamlined path to regular launches. Ultimately, what SpaceX is doing goes beyond just building a rocket. They're laying the groundwork for a new era of human space exploration. We're witnessing the evolution of spaceflight right before our eyes. The dream of Mars, the moon, and even beyond is becoming more than just a vision. It's becoming a plan, a reality in the making. And while the timeline might not always be clear, one thing is for sure. SpaceX isn't slowing down anytime soon. They're on a relentless march toward the stars, and we're all along for the ride. So as we await the next launch, we can only imagine what breakthroughs are on the horizon. Will Starship version 2 fly next? Will SpaceX solve the upper stage recovery puzzle? And when will we finally see humans board this revolutionary spacecraft? The answers are out there, and with SpaceX, it's only a matter of time before they make them real. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.